need is some diapers and a scissor. Carefully cut through the inside lining. Take some cotton out. Carefully rub it slowly and you can see some small tiny bits falling off. This tiny crystal bead is a super absorbent polymer called sodium polyacrylate. We will need 3 to 4 teaspoons of this for this experiment. Fill up a bowl of water. Add half a teaspoon of the tiny crystal beads that we have collected just now. Wait for a few seconds. Observe the gel the polymer and water created. The sodium polyacrylate expands tremendously when it comes in contact with water. This is because the water is drawn into and held by the molecules of sodium polyacrylate. They act like giant sponges. Some can soak up as much as 100 times their weight in water. Let's check out the reaction of polymer at different temperature of water. Cold water, room temperature water and hot water. Add half a teaspoon of polymer at each. The temperature of water did not really affect the polymer. The water was still absorbed. However, let me check the texture of the polymer. I could feel each of the gel pieces like a grain. It's a little mushy compared to the polymer in the cold water. It's kind of soft and seem like easily breaking. Let's check out the reaction of the polymer when salt is added. We are going to add the salt only in one bowl. Mix slowly. The mixture has become watery. Osmosis process. Today, this super absorbent polymer is widely used, such as forestry, gardening, and landscaping, as a way to conserve water. Imagine using it to store water in the soil and then releases it as the plant's roots needed it. 
I hope you like my video and please check out all of